everybody so welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel howdy doodly today i'm going to be doing a super simple long lasting makeup routine i know i've done like a million makeup videos it's just because i've been trying a lot of new products just kind of giving you guys a broader horizon i'm just gonna be talking about a few products that i just got from derma blend that i wanted to try out for you all and let you guys know how i'm liking them um i've been testing them out for about a couple weeks now and i wanted to just show you guys what i got um this makeup routine is mostly for people who have oily sensitive acne prone scarred blemish skin and not only i'm going to be doing it on my face but i'm going to be doing it on my body as well so i'll be showing you guys how to cover dark spots and things of that nature on your body because I know people get hyperpigmentation all over not just on our face so I wanted to kind of demonstrate how to cover that so let's get right into the video shall we so my skin is already primed and everything I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the foundation I'm going to be using the derma blend smooth liquid camo foundation it's a really great foundation. It reminds me a lot of L'Oreal Infallible. Um, so I've really been liking this. I'm going to be using the color Cafe. And I'm going to pump that onto the back of my hand. That's how much I'm using. I'm going to use a buffing brush first on my cheeks and on my forehead and then my chin and my nose. What I've noticed about this foundation is that it's very smooth and it covers really, really well. And I like to use padding motions. I know a lot of people always ask me, how do you apply foundation? What's the best way to apply it? It's really up to you and what kind of coverage you want. I like full coverage to cover my dark spots. So what I like to do is I like to take a flat top brush like this because it's dense and it can pack on product really well, especially liquid products. What I like to do is I like to buff that in um, I don't like to like just swipe it down because that kind of just moves the product around and it doesn't really set it into where you want it to be. So I'm just like using buffing and padding motions. No swiping motions, buffing and padding motions, okay? You basically want to press it into your skin. Like you don't, you don't want to just like swipe it on and paint it on because you're not necessarily painting your face. You're trying to give it an airbrushed look now you can paint your foundation on but you're gonna have to do more work to blend it in later so it just makes sense to just buff it in from the jump that way you don't have to worry about doing so much blending and as you can see the majority of my dark spots are covered pretty well um, I don't have to worry too much about concealing but a lot of people always ask me why I don't color correct I'm lazy, I don't like to color correct. Foundation and concealer is really like bae for me. Like I just do foundation and concealer and whatever else is, and hopefully that covers. Um, but what I like about the Smooth Liquid Camo is that this like pretty much covers everything. It is a lot like L'Oreal Infallible foundation, like the texture and the mattifyingness. It's, it's a lot like that foundation, but I feel like this is a little more coverage to it and it looks really good. But I'm gonna go ahead and conceal anyway. I'm using the Derma Blend uh, Quick Fix Concealer in the color Bronze. And I'm gonna take that and just apply it to wherever I need more coverage. It is important to not cake on your foundation and wherever you need more coverage maximum coverage because you have a lot of dark spots um i would just use a concealer to spot conceal those areas just because you don't want to like cake on a whole bunch of product and then your face looks super cakey and then it doesn't look natural one thing i like about this derma blend concealer is that it blends into my skin perfectly and i don't have to um i really don't have to do too much blending I like using this concealer when I don't feel like highlighting because it doesn't really highlight, it just covers really well. And this, this concealer has like kind of an orangey tint to it. So if you have like dark spots or dark circles, bluish brown spots, you want to cover that with a orange tone concealer, something that has a little more orange in it. And this concealer has a great orange base to it. And Dermablend has like really good color selection so they have more colors available than online than they do in stores i noticed when i went to to um ulta to check out their products they don't have all of the shades the darkest shades are available online so if you can't find your shade in stores then check online 
um, and I'll have the link in the description box to where you can check them out online. As you can see here, we have a pretty even canvas going on. Next step would be to highlight and contour if you want to. You don't have to highlight and contour. I feel like a lot of people feel like they have to highlight and contour, but you don't. I'm gonna use a little bit of this Smooth Liquid Camo in the color Cinnamon. It's a little too dark for me, and I'm just gonna use that on my forehead because my forehead is a totally different color. I know that some um, women of color have an issue with their forehead not blending with the rest of their makeup, so I'm just gonna blend some of this darker foundation. And like I said, you don't have to contour if you don't want to, but if you find that it helps to kind of blend, do that by all means. Do whatever you need to do to make your face look flawless, okay? Mostly why I contour is just because my forehead is like a totally different color than the rest of my face. Just gotta work with what you got, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Now I'm going to take my setting powder, and this is a setting powder from Dermal Blend as well. It is a translucent setting powder. Now what I would suggest is that you do not use a whole, whole lot of this. One thing I've learned using white powders is that if you use a white powder, use it sparingly. Because if you use too much, it will flash back, okay? And you will look white in pictures. Especially if you have dark skin, you don't want your face to be glowing in pictures with flash. So I'm just gonna take some of that on a setting brush and pat that wherever I have, or wherever I need setting. Um, mostly just under the eyes so that I don't have any creasing. But what I liked about the, um, the concealer that I use is that it's not really liquidy, it's not really creamy. It's like a, it's a cream texture, but it is a lot more firm. Firm, that's what it is. So I'm just using this setting powder to just set the areas that I feel like need to be set, my areas that I get oily in. Another cool thing about these products is that they are long lasting and pretty much waterproof. And a lot of them have uh, SPF in them so they protect from the sun as well. So I'm going to fill in my brows with this NYX brow pencil. This is the micro brow pencil. I love this brow pencil. And I'm just gonna fill in my brows very lightly. I just got them done so I don't necessarily need to fill them in a lot. but. I like to fill in the sparse areas just to make them look fuller. I love doing my eyebrows when they're like freshly done and I just got them threaded because then I don't have to use any concealer underneath to clean them up. And you guys, it looks so much more natural when you don't do that. Oh my gosh. And that's it. That's all I'm doing my brows, guys. That's all I'm doing. The L'Oreal Miss Manga Mascara on my eyes just to give my Lashes some volume here. All right, so this is the finished product. This is the look, this is me using three products, trying to cut back. Just wanted to show you guys that one, you don't have to contour all the time. And two, you can get a long lasting makeup look without having to do all of the crazy steps. Um, I really hope that it was simple. I mean, I tried to use at least amount of products as I could to show you guys that you can get a full coverage, full face, long lasting makeup look without having to use a ton of product. So in this video, I also wanted to show how you can use the leg and body cover so that you can kind of get an idea of how to cover um, scars, bruises, birthmarks, um, hyperpigmentation on your body. This is a really, really great product. I don't know if you guys have ever tried the Sally Hansen airbrush legs. I don't like the airbrush legs only because I don't like the whole concept of having to spray it on my legs. And I find that this has a lot better coverage and it has SPF in it. So if you do have dark spots and things of that nature, on your body like say your shoulders your legs so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now so let's say you have a scar on your leg that needs covering um, like this one here I got that from a track accident I was trying to jump a hurdle and you wanted to cover it up or you just want to make your legs look more smooth um, I know sometimes people get like dark marks from um, shaving and things like that so I'm gonna show you guys how to cover it I'm going to take that and apply that to my leg here. You smooth it, smooth it in a downwards motion. If you're a lighter complexion, you can get it in a darker shade and it'll make you look more tan. Now, of course you wouldn't wear this every day. This isn't something that you'll wear every day, but if you do need to cover dark marks on your body, 
um, for whatever reason, it covers pretty nice. But I'm gonna show you guys that it does not transfer. Are you ready for this? Boom. No transfer at all. So it won't get on your clothes. If you were scared about it getting on your clothes, it will not. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure. <clears throat> if you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up and um, like the video so that I'll know if you guys like videos like this, more in-depth tutorials where I kind of break things down. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Let me know if you have any questions. That is all for this video. I will talk to you guys in my next one, okay? Bye. Anastasia makes really great products, so don't get me wrong. This is not me saying, you know, I don't like this product. That would be a lot. This is a good product. However, I will not be purchasing it anymore because Nick's cruising down the street in my six <laughs> That Jeep is olive. I just like olive green right now. I don't know why. Olive. <laughs>